Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. This is Timothy from Cognito Academy and in this video, we'll be covering work energy power part 1, specifically on work done and the various energy forms. Work done on an object is the product of the force and the distance moved by the object in the direction of the force. Do take note that the distance we use here must be of the same direction as the force. In this scenario, say this string pulls the box with a force of 10 newtons to the right, but there's a frictional force of 2 newtons. The box is pulled for a distance of 5 meters. So what is the work done by the string on the box? We know work done is force multiplied by distance. But here we have two forces, 10 newtons and 2 newtons. So which force do we use? The hint is actually in the phrase, work done by the string. So the force we will use is the force by the string, which is the 10 newtons. And the distance we use is the distance moved by the box that is in the same direction as this 10 newtons force, which is 5 meters. Hence, work done by the string on the box is just 50 newton meters or 50 joules. In another scenario, the same string pulls the box with a force of 10 newtons to the right, with a frictional force of 2 newtons. But what I've changed now is that the distance travel is diagonal, 5 meters to the right and 2 meters to the top. So let's calculate the work done. So which force do we use? As I explained earlier, since work done is by the string, the force we use will be by the string as well, which is the 10 newtons. But here comes the question, which distance do we use, 5 meters or 2 meters? Let's take a look at the elaboration for distance. It states, distance move in the direction of the force, which means the distance we choose must be in the same direction as the 10 newtons we use for the force. So the distance will be 5 meters, giving us a work done of 50 joules again. In yet another scenario, presuming a frictionless surface, with only the string pulling the box with a force of 10 newtons towards the right, with the box only moving to the right for a distance of 5 meters, what will the work done by the string on the box be? Yes, this is a simpler case. Like what we learned just now, since work done is by the string, the force we will use is the force by the string, which is the 10 newtons. The distance we use is the distance in the same direction of this force, which will be the 5 meters. All this is the same as the previous example, just with simpler scenarios as there is only one force and one distance to choose from here. But have you ever thought, what's the point of calculating work done? Work is the measure of energy transfer when a force moves an object through a distance. In the context of this scenario, when a string is pulling the box, energy is actually transferred from the string to the box. And how much of this energy is transferred is calculated through the work done by the string on the box. That means 50 joules of energy was actually transferred from the string to the box. But have you ever wondered what happens to all this energy that the box has gained? It causes the box to gain speed, increasing its kinetic energy. Basically speaking, in this frictionless scenario, the work done equals the gain in kinetic energy for the box. This brings us to the concept of kinetic energy. So what is kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is just the energy this bicycle possesses when moving. Mathematically, it is given by half mv squared, which is half multiplied by the bicycle's mass multiplied by its velocity squared, to give us the kinetic energy of the bicycle. Another type of energy is the gravitational potential energy, which is the energy that is stored because of this bicycle's height above Earth's surface. Mathematically, it is given by mgh, which is the bicycle's mass multiplied by the gravitational field strength which is normally 9.81 on Earth's surface, and multiplied by the difference in height. Do take note that the gravitational potential energy here is relative, meaning when you calculate gravitational potential energy, it is always relative to a certain height. This draws out our video on work energy power part 1. If you liked this video and found it helpful, do like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay tuned for more content. Also, do visit our webpage containing awesome academic content www.cognito.academy With that, see you!